Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cammie and this is Cammie's Closet. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. Please hit that subscribe button, help my channel grow, and this way you'll also be notified. No, you won't be notified. Hit the bell notification, then you'll be notified when I upload videos and you can come back and watch. If you're not new to my channel, thank you for coming back. Um, really quickly, backstory, I met Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture um, and her friend, Diana, at the Short Hills Mall in New Jersey to celebrate both of our birthdays. We're both August babies. So anyway, um, I had purchased the uh, Neverfull BB and I purchased, no, that was the only thing I purchased. I wasn't happy with it. It just wasn't for me. So when I met Dawn and her girlfriend at the mall, I got there a little bit early and I brought that back and I had returned it but I also had ordered another bag, which you all saw, and if you haven't, I will link that video down below. I purchased the Demi, um, Demir Abin 20, and I absolutely am in love with that bag, and I'm very happy that I did that. So I returned the um, BB, and the Demir Abin, I will let you know that I did not actually pay for it. No, it wasn't gifted to me, and no, Louis Vuitton didn't give me a present. Never will happen in a million years. I sold the toiletry that I had, the toiletry 19. I sold, um, oh my God, I, oh, I, you know what? I don't even remember off the top of my head. I sold, um, what did I sell? I forgot what I sold. I forgot what I sold. In any case, I sold enough to buy the DE20, literally, to cover it. Um, not buy anything that I purchased recent, things that I had for a while that I just wasn't using. Oh, the pencil case, that, that watercolor pencil case that I did not touch and sat in my closet. I sold that also. Um, and there was one other thing. So it amounted to that. So I felt like how I justified another birthday present for myself besides the DE20, because I didn't really pay for that, is to buy another bag. Of course, why not? So I purchased the, um, I didn't buy anything while I was there, I just picked up the DE20, but I looked at a few things, and in this box is one of the things I looked at in person, and um, I didn't like wear it or put things in it or do any of that, which I should have, but I didn't because I was in a rush and I wanted, I was meeting Dawn, so I didn't want to waste too much time. So um, I ended up coming home just with the DE. Did I, was it the DE bag? I, I don't even remember. I feel like I had two boxes. Oh, I picked up the, what my husband bought me, which was a charm, a bag charm for the DE. That's why I had, I had two things with me. Anyway, when I got home, I decided I wanted a tote for work because I keep buying small bags, small bags, small bags, which are great for the weekends, but for work I like a big bag and I really don't have that many work totes. So um, I decided to buy, and if you didn't see the video, I will link that video down below, that monoglam in the Neverfull. Um, it came off really blue to me on screen. All the smaller pieces are really blue. Um, but when I got it, it really looked silver and it was wavy. The material was wavy. You'll, you'll see it if you watch that video. I was not happy with that. I thought it was not made. It was kind of sh made very shoddy. Like, I, I don't know, it was a shoddy job. I, maybe it was supposed to be like that, but more importantly, it looked really silver other than the trim. I didn't want that. So I sent it back. Yes, I did. And I decided to buy this. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get so much use out of this bag because it's a combination that I do not already have in my collection. If you know me, you know that I really like to have a good variety. I don't like to get the same things over and over. I'm not going to say I don't because I do have um, two types of, two handbags where I have three of. Um, and another one I have two of or whatever. But in general, I feel like if I'm gonna spend this kind of money, it has to be completely different than what I already have in my collection. Something that I need, I know we don't need any of this, we all know that, ex nay on the need word. <laughs> 
you know what I mean. It it's something that's different. I know you're probably saying just open the damn bag already. Just open the box. Just do it. If you don't like my chitter chatter, you could kind of fast forward to the opening of the box. <laughs> um, but if you like listening to me, then I'll get to this. I will. Um, so anyway, I wanted something in this combination. The color I have plenty of, but this combination of color and hardware in a small bag. So let's go. Are you ready? I'm not tearing the, the perforated line because when I picked up the box, it opened, which is not so good because it came in the mail like that where I didn't have to tear the box open. Um, I just, I picked it up and I was like, oh, it's not even that sticky. So, you know, I could have lost some stuff here. Anyway, here's the box. Envelope with all the stuff in it that we don't care about. Well, I do care about it. It's a receipt. That's important. This is the box. Let me put this down. I'm going to tell you right now, the first time I saw this on video was Meredith at um, Living Lux with Meredith. I'm sorry, Meredith, if I said your name wrong. I will link her channel down below. She got this bag in purple. And I will tell you now that if I didn't have that Valentino purple bag, why is this? This is in a knot. It's not even a bow. Have that... That has never happened before with a Louis Vuitton where you had to unknot it. Anyway, she got this bag in purple in lavender. It is absolutely gorgeous. But how many purple bags does one person need? Me, I only need one. Yeah, I just, you know, how many times am I going to grab for my purple bag? I wore it a lot, but I don't need another one. If I didn't have the Valentino purple, I would have got this in purple in a heartbeat. But instead, I decided to go with a very safe, safe color. Wait till you see. Let's take her out. I'm also going to do um, quick what fits. While I have you, I might as well, right? I can save it for another video. I could. I could save it for another video. I'll see how much time I have. Are you ready to see this little, this little, this little tiny thing? Are we ready? You ready? Okay, here we go. This is the Alma Nano in the black epi leather and silver hardware. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Not really. The cutest thing I've ever seen was when my sons were born. They were really cute. But for a bag, well, the Nano Speedy is really one of the cutest things also I've ever seen. <laughs> there are so many. Look at this bag. Look at this. Look at how adorable this thing is. Now, I know you can't tell how little it is because on video, everything is magnified. It looks much bigger. But um, the handle drop here is about two and a half inches, just like a Nano Speedy. This is the bottom no feet this is the back because the front has the LV right there the zipper oh my god so cute it looks tiny it looks tiny but the reason I took it is because I saw Meredith put all her things in it, her, the things that are essential for her, and I was like, oh my God, that'll, that should fit everything I need to take. So let's open it up because it does come with a Ziploc. The strap is in a Ziploc? Really? Louis Vuitton, you sent me the strap in a Ziploc? Are they out of their friggin' minds? Did somebody look at this before they sent it to me? Okay, let's just continue. This is the inside. Of course, you can't really see it because it's black. It does not have an inside pocket. This one says made in... I don't know 
I don't know what it says. I can't see without my glasses. Let me put my glasses on, guys. Oh, sorry. I can't edit that out. If you're new to my channel, you'll know that I don't edit. So the noise, the barking, the coughing. Love it or leave it. Here we go. So made in France. I'm going to take the strap out of the ziplock. They'll just keep letting her bark, 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 bark. Oh, my son just came in. Hello. So cute. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. All right, let me get this thing out because I'm really annoyed that it's in a plastic bag. Since when do you pack Louis Vuitton in a plastic bag? Seriously. Seriously? Like, even if this was a return, which it could have been, you take it out of the bag and you wrap it in, you, you just put it in the, ba in the bag. I don't understand. Okay. Um, one side has some of the sticky on it. And this side does not. This is what the uh, thing looks like. It is, um, it's adjustable, which I actually didn't know. I didn't know the strap was adjustable, which is kind of uh, cool for um, a Louis Vuitton bag. Where do you put the straps? Oh, it, oh, I, look at this. This is interesting. See, the straps go on right here. Not on the actual not on the actual um, metal that holds the um, handle. There's a, a, a piece right there, you see it? Like that, on both sides. So it's diagonal how the straps are gonna be on, which eh, doesn't matter to me. I know some people don't like the way it lays. A lot of people don't like the Almas in general because they have a very um, uh, deep, you know, wide profile, but I, it, this bag is so tiny. You know, I mean, I'm a tiny, tiny person with a tiny hand and, you know, this is, this is how it fits. Okay, so obviously this is not adjusted for my height. Let me put it in uh, one of the holes. There's a lot of holes, so this should be pretty good for, for most people because it's a lot of, um, a lot of holes. But I'm very small, I'm only 5'1", so I'm going to quickly just stand up so you could see how it looks crossbody. This is so adorable. It really is adorable. I, what can I say? It's adorable. Uh, not many options on how to carry it, obviously. I mean, of course, you can carry it top handle. Um, I can get my hand through if I had to, but I have very, very tiny hands, very tiny wrists. But if I had to be hands-free and for some reason I didn't bring the strap out with me, I can get my hand in there, but not, you know, it's not really not comfortable for carrying. Just trying to look and see if there are any marks on here now that I have my glasses on because, you know, uh, you send it to me in a Ziploc bag, God knows where it's been. I don't see any marks. I never had anything in Epi Leather. I've never had an Alma. Um, supposedly, this is, I don't know if it's indestructible, but it's supposed to be very, very durable. So, um, how about, just quickly, I'm not going to put everything, I'm just going to put my phone in because that is the most important thing. I um, need to buy things that hold my phone. You know, that, 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 that Winnie B really is an influence on me and she made me buy like six, I don't know, I have like five or six, I'm not even sure, micro bags and, you know, and they don't hold my phone, but you know. The influence is real. So let me show you. 
and hope that this goes in with some room to spare for other items because if you can't put anything else in then then it's not gonna work for me I mean Meredith put her phone in okay my phone went in um, pretty much end to end but it does not touch let's let's just zip it up it zips up with no problem it's not pushing at all on either side so the phone it fits in really really nice I wanted a bag I wanted a black bag a small black bag with silver hardware because I don't have one at all the only black small bag I have is my um, coach heart bag which has black hardware I have a small suede Dooney that has um, a Dooney Barlow that has gold hardware and I have um, I have the uh, other LV bag that's the it's the souffle I think it's called black and monogram also gold hardware um, I'm trying to think what what other black bags I have that are small I have a small puzzle that has silver hardware it's the only other one in my collection that has silver hardware with black and that bag is I wouldn't call it like mini that's kind of just it's small so you know I wanted something very small with silver hardware so here it is guys my phone fits in there there's room on either side not a lot I'm gonna say probably I could throw my keys in on one side and a card holder and maybe a lipstick oh maybe my mini readers just for the hell of it I'll throw those in too <laughs> see I'm gonna start throwing everything in here and I didn't want to hand sanitizer doing it Mini Rita, phone, hand sanitizer, card holder. Look, I'm here already, right? It's on my table, so I might as well. Card holder goes in there too. It's a lot. Keys. Obviously not in the key holder. Keys. It packs a punch, guys. It packs a punch. I thought this came with... um with our locks but I guess not so here it is here she is um, this could actually probably go on a shoulder too because I have this on the second to the longest so if I make this really short I could probably I could wear this as a shoulder bag that might look kind of cute too Anyway, tell me what you guys think. I'm going to inspect it thoroughly after I shut the film off. And uh, what do you guys think? Is this another wasted dollar? Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's too small, it's too small. But you know something? The Nano Speedy is tiny also, and it holds a lot. Uh, so, no, this is... This is it's adorable, right? No different than having a walk, a Chanel walk, or a Louis Vuitton walk, or, you know, it works the same way, same function. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed seeing this bag. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments down below. I will put the measurements down below, and I will put, um, put the uh, blah, 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 blah. okay I lost my train of thought I will link the channels down below of those that I mentioned in my video so have a great day and I will see you soon I may have one more thing on the way so hopefully you'll come back to see bye